So now look at this. Make a round shape, use the same high-tech rolling machines, get a flat front and we went this with this model. We made a small model, this time we were like careful. We made a small scale model, the size of you know 15 uh, centimeter scale and we took this model uh, to uh, India Post directly to the ministry to Delhi and they said no no we told you round there's a flat front I said how does it matter flat front is convenient for people to carry, take out letters right if you open a flat door it's convenient to take out letters so we put the flat front they said no no now they become very rigid we want round as round now we are facing the music. We said, okay, we'll make a round design and we redesigned using the same uh, materials, better manufacturing and went, went back, you know, I'm showing you how we went ahead making the CAD models, the whole structure, the different parts in that, the landings, the door in round shape, uh, the, you know, the top uh, posting slot uh, in an interesting shape to, you know, match the overall configuration of the post box. You can see how we made the base also now with a rigid structure inside with a round, uh, you know, round base. We could have had a square base, but we now we didn't want to take any chances. And then we suddenly got a call again from Delhi that we have got this Commonwealth Games happening uh, and there's a large exhibition and we need to put up this new round box in the exhibition. So from CAD modeling, we had to rush to prototyping. They wanted a single piece. We got all the you know stuff out. We went to local craftsmen and look at that sheet. That looks rusted, but you know when it's treated, it becomes shining. So they rolled. That's a rolling machine on which you roll your uh, sheet. Then you do all the fabrication by welding. All the surfaces are all weld together. Then you do the painting. We did the painting processes. Painted them after treatment so that there's no rusting inside. And then we did the top, the round top. We learned our lesson. <laughs> so like uh, we did the hinges, the doors, the details, pretty tough. We had the whole team to work on this. We had experts, we had a team of 10 people working on this at that time. And then we put up one near our main building just for photography. And you know, like we sent this prototype to Delhi. And they put up in the exhibition, the secretaries were very happy. The directors were very happy in India. Post said, wow, this is the in thing. And then interesting thing happens, the secretary also retired. So we were again in a fix. Uh, we waited for a long time, six months, we waited, no, no result came up. And then a new secretary came up who knew our work earlier. So he contacted us and said, what's happening to your post box? He asked me. I said, my God, this is interesting. Let me get back to my old design. So I leapfrogged my old design. I said, I have the box. I just, there's a problem only with the red color. I just painted red and it's going to work for you. And I'm going to change the top to a rounded top, marry the old and the new and it will be work. We put the old and the new during Tech Fest exhibition in IIT and then we called this man from Delhi. He came and inaugurated the, you know, sort of exhibition. So here we have again the square box painted red because there's an advantage of manufacturing in square. You know, you fold very easily rather than rolling. And then, you know, we sort of, you know, like uh, did the tooling now. Now what happened is, uh, by that time we realized that out of the 200 boxes, when the plastic top went, people thought that they could recycle the plastic. So people were actually stealing the plastic tops. Jilloy is a difficult material to recycle, they were not able to sell it, but nevertheless they would put a bamboo rod inside and whack it out and go and sell it. Plastic top is not going to work, so we went back, we said we'll make a metal top, bolt it to the you know to the structure so that nobody can you know sort of uh, take it away. So this is the tooling. Now my team from IDC started working. We made a die, this uh, metal die. We did deep drawing. Deep drawing is a process where you have a sheet metal and you have a large press which presses the sheet metal to get the shapes. All your car bodies are deep drawn. The rounded shapes of your car bodies, the large tooling and dies. But this is a very small one for us. So we did these metal tops. So this is the top. And this top, uh, what is interesting in this top is it's got a feel of the old and the new. The round is from the earlier design and the square is from the new design and when it's in red color there was very good recognizing. People had no doubt that it was a post box. So which is the best part in design? So we went ahead in the process, we you know fabricated the top, we did the deep drawing, we got the sheet metal part out and we painted it and we were so excited about the whole journey that we published a book. Uh, on you know the design read through to see the whole story of how the design process went
So here we are. Now we would like to take it to mass production. We didn't do a very good survey very uh, initially. We were so carried away by the city users. Everybody said good. The paper said good. But finally, when it went to those areas and district areas, we got to know that, you know, the, it's very difficult. So I will, you know, quickly show you through these models now. So as we just to summarize. So we had the top, which was big. This was the first 20 numbers we produced. The box was you know, manufactured through CNC. The beauty about computer numerical control manufacturing is that you could actually manufacture 10 or 200 on the same machine, which is the beauty of mass manufacturing in these machines. So next we went ahead and changed the top. As you know, this was the 200 numbers which came in and this 200 numbers, you know, well received. But then we realized that the problem was with identification. And then the final aspect which had uh, come up was this design where you can see that, you know, we retained all the, you know, beautiful aspects. The color is red and the top is round and the full thing is in metal. So that's the final design which came up. So I think it's a good example of crafting where you have, you know, you have engineering strengths coming in, manufacturing strengths coming in and a lot of innovation from point of view of contemporary materials from plastics to metal to stainless steel. So finally, uh, what we did was because the, steel, uh, because the stainless steel is not using the shining property, right? And that is a costliest part of the stainless steel, which is called nickel. So we now have a material which is low nickel stainless steel. So in the no nickel, we have a low nickel stainless steel and on the low nickel stainless steel, we are doing powder coating. So there's one more protection. So now that is going to work very well uh, in this uh, aspect. So I thought I'll just show you this total journey because this reached a stage of pilot production, going back to original concepts and the to and fro happened nearly three times and still we are waiting for our sort of, uh, you know, approval to go into mass scale production.